Hello there. My name is Shadow's Ron. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Star's Genite. Should I give a glass at Legacy? A little while ago, I had on my Legacy map tours uploaded on the official Glass at Legacy channel. It was a tour map called Wreckham Sanctuary, which I'll put in the description below. That video has some frame issues that I have to fix, as you can see in the recent Kashyyyk map tour. In the comments of the Wreckham Sanctuary video, Someone had asked about a character showcase. I figured, hey, good idea. And with a little tweak in the idea, I came up with this series. In this series of videos, I have gone through a sort of factions grabbing a handful of popular and dangerous and unique characters and had them fight each other one on one in three rounds to see who the strongest one is. Those winners will want to face each other to see who the most strong fighter in Legacy is. I have done my best to grab an assortment of fighters that are unique and bring something unique to the table. I hope you enjoyed my selection and enjoy this series. It took a lot of work and a lot of time staring at fights, which is not as fun as it may seem after a while. So, it is time for this final episode of this qualifier round. Where it is down to the final faction. My last episode here, at the end, I mentioned I had no idea what I would do next. I had seven bastions that I realized it was an odd number. It was kind of a bit goofy to work with. It wouldn't exactly be as smooth as having eight bastions is. So I went through and I figured what faction would be best to represent. Like what one has the most interesting characters that has enough characters to have eight different fighters in it that is somewhat different than what we've seen before in the other episodes which is difficult to do when they're all like Jedi and Sith but I came upon the original Sith Empire the OG we are on Rizan which I think is a good place to have a fight at for this kind of era you may know Rizan as where Bane wiped out Lord Khan and his group of Sith and Lord Hop and his group of Jedi before I move it on, meeting Zana or Rain at that point, and beginning his whole World of Two stuff. Luna crashes to the cord. This era of the Sith Lord, I'm not super familiar with. I know it well enough. Like I basically know what happens here, but more the character like uh, attributes and the things they would do, I don't exactly know. Oh, come on, guys. Would you fight, please? It's a very annoying thing, though, dude. It's like stuck in the corner and not fight. I know that I know this from an old, like, history of Star Wars book I used to read, which I could see if I can find it somewhere and show you a picture of it. It was written, I think, in 2008. Like, Maybe earlier than that. Like, during the primes. I say that because of uh, Jason and Jaina being, like, six, seven years old in that book. <laughs> I think the oldest they are, so. Way before even the off the NGL happened, it happens with the uh, use on Bong or with the Kilix and all that lovely stuff. Either way, Udo Crash round one. Alright. Can Ludo sweep this? Don't let us with the sword. It's very powerful. <laughs> it's always you just sit imagining an era where lightsabers weren't the common. Or it was shorts, like he has here. Or with sabers for like battery packs, you had to attach and seal your body by a cord in order for them to work before they had their own internal batteries. And there we go. Don't interact with the sword. Buddha crash. Nice, clean, and sweet. Freedom Nad versus Darth Andu. I wonder exactly why the mod creator gave him basically a skippy outfit. Where he's got like nothing with just like a small shirt. Like a body litter outfit. Very interesting creative decision. Well, that was a very clean, like, powerful hack. Wow. Alrighty. Huh. Round one. We didn't add. Well, that was anticlimactic. Once again, it's kind of this one slash slice is gonna happen, it's over with. 
No, like, awesome at combos. He's like, boop, dead. Round three. And the starting is about to. Wee. A lot of, like, in the air stuff. They're, like, walking on the wall up here. <laughs> well. Okay. That's always trippy. Oh! That was cool. Woohoo! Well. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, boys? Well. Mm. And there you have it. Udo Crest is a freaking mad. Whoa, that was an awesome start. Blasts that flying across the screen with, with destruction. It's all gonna be here now. <laughs> That's my way to stop in the charge. Back up, bam. So, we know how good the sword is in this. We know he can get, get the last one's ass pretty easily. So don't ask him with that blade. May not seem like much, but all it is. Damn. Got a lot of use of explosion here. Come on, guys. Get over the edge. There we go. Oh, that's more like it. Much more of an epic way to win that battle. Very nice combo. Alright. So, possibly the last round of the Survivor Battles. It's almost over <laughs> in the other finals. This is not my first time recording this, so I'm a little bit of, I don't know, one hour doing this. It's kind of hard, like, yeah, go team! When this is like, this is like the third time I've had to record the same thing throughout this last two days. Alright. So, can he finish this with the spooky spirit of Ragnar's watching him? Who, as soon as I have a saber, don't know what that is. That's all sorts of broken. But, is he like holding, like, in, look at that, he's in his wrist. Oh, I should be over here. Sorry, should be over, should watch the battle of the freaking spooky spirit. And there it is. Frida Nad moves on to represent his faction. Stick around. It'll be very interesting to see who, who walks away from this.